Okay, Aries, 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 Aries. <sighs> Shamrock Tarot here to give you Cupid Tarot series. Complain, complain, complain. Doesn't feel like Valentine's Day. No, when you live in heaven, every day is the same. It's all a blessing. Every day is a blessing. Aries, please. You know, when you butt in my energy, it just means that you're wasting yours. So <sighs> They come in the order that they come. If you want to jump the line, I'm not taking tips, gratitude right now. I have to reset everything. Well, be careful. I got mountains and bridges here. I'd hate for you to get stuck somewhere. Especially, have you not seen the news about the bridges around here? Empress. Six of Pentacles. Two of Rods. Looks like you're still admiring yourself. There was some tears. I saw, saw some tears. There's that, still that sexual energy there. Knight of Rods, playful, in and out, no plan, love. Okay. So you're still playing glamour, girl. For instance, you work out to, um, just so that you have a perfect body, not to be healthy. You're not an athlete. If you were an athlete, you'd have... RA by now like me. So you're, you're sad. You feel like there should be this overpouring of love to you from the divine and you're crying because you don't feel it or you're still expecting it. That is waking up. You're still waking up. Well, crying is releasing. Eventually, it will get to heaven and your rainbow will come out. But you're not there. You're still at a crossroads. <clears throat> See how there's some dogs behind her? Still got some dogs around you. You're doing things to show off because you want attention. You're at the doorway. You didn't go. You know, you got to get through the doorway. And then there's going to be another tunnel there. You need to drop this player energy. You you overly force yourself into things. It's like you're abusing your, your passion energy. And then you abuse your force energy with the Mars, like it trying to interfere with me or something. You know, I mean, it's just you're wasting your energy. Then you put all your energy in trying to look different and then you expect love to come in. And you're on a crossroads over Empress energy. You are so confused on what it is. So confused and you're stuck at the doorway. You know, you can go and buy yourself flowers. Apples, I've been craving apples nonstop. Yeah, yeah I don't know. The other day I wanted sour apples. Ugh. But my stomach, so, as you know, as cystity as I got older, I can't even like enjoy apples anymore. Um, Let's see, what else? Yeah, you want to go out and be social. I mean, there's still restrictions. <sighs> something about the market you guys have a nice market out there i want to visit somewhere where there's a nice um like flea market but a real one we don't have like real flea markets here there's one that's like two of them are like the junk flea market and then one is just like a glorified one where it's people's businesses anyways all right let's go let's go aries 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 King of Swords, good. That's good. Cutting people out, being headstrong, putting him heart over head. Yeah, you're crying. Like I said, you're crying here. You're crying. 
Yeah, it's time to go. You need to invest your energy into yourself. What are you doing at the bar? You drink? You go out for happy hour? What do you do there? I don't. I can't see that shadow stuff. So of course, I can't see. I can't relate to you. I don't do those things. I never did. But I went out. I mean, of course, I went to a club and stuff when I was like in my 20s. But, and that was only for like a year or two. I don't do online dating. I cannot give you any advice on that. You know, I'll wait and let God bring someone into my energy. And happy hours, that's when like married couples are going out to drink. So it's probably not a good hour for you to go out. You know, those are people when they're tired or getting off work and then you're going out all perfect. You know, yeah, everybody's going to be giving you the evil eye. So I really wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. Go out at night, it's all young people. So you need to get involved in your community, you know, going to town meetings, getting involved in your kid's school. Um, you know, stuff like that. Making new friends. Joining book club, you know, book club. Yeah, you really don't read the book. You know, you meet and talk with people and, um, you know, you could babysit for an extra couple bucks. <sighs> yeah, judgment. Good. Did you call judgment? I don't think you did. So, why is judgment here, please? Judgment. Why do I see just like all these flowers flying around? The karmic will. Well, who's going on the will, please? The, the, you call judgment on your stability? The queen of pentacles or an earth sign? Who is this queen of pentacles? Oh, a fire sign. Is it? <laughs> who, who is this, please? Can you confirmate who this is? These people from your past, like the last message. Okay. Uh, you're really still stuck in your head over these people from your past. Yes, yeah, time to move. go away. There's, there you go. Say goodbye to them. Yeah, they're like beggars. And it's putting you at a crossroad of your heart because you can't, now you can't get them out of your energy. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, use your intuition. Cut them off. Tell them you're busy praying. You're saving yourself for love. Whatever. Rejection. What about rejection here? Yeah, you're feeling betrayed. Well, good. You're, you're dealing with these emotions finally. You need to work on your stability. Your longevity and success with your folks or whatever is going on. Investing your time and energy and that's the truth. Good. Okay, but it's still here. You see how it's still on the table here. Okay? Putting, you're, you're starting to see the light. That is traveling through the tunnel to 5D. You have questions about the moon. I don't, I don't help you with spell works. That is your guys' stuff. Yeah, here's the magician. It's not putting it to death. Expecting that you're doing this magic and things are going to manifest for yourself. So being, there's the cross, the crossing over, being pure. You were like a sparkling light in the darkness and that's how they find you. Movement. Meditating. Meditating is a good thing. This is a sign card, but I always see judgment with this card because they're like putting their hands out. And that's, yes, that's seeing the light, being illuminated on this. Everything was unfulfilled success, so you need a new plan. It's like all that I want to do is come back and forth and offer romance. So what if they're, you know, soulmates and stuff? They came in and did what they did, and now you need to take all your strength and courage and stop letting the devil control you. All this ego stuff. They're trying to keep you trapped and you're letting them and you feel trapped something about stability. You need to start investing and grounding yourself with the stability that you have with your folks. That is where your, your stability is. There's some kind of jewelry and stuff too. You need to start looking at your assets. 
Yeah, you you feel trapped with these people from your past. Yeah, it's like everybody, yes, is like a soulmate. If you're on this path, everybody that you've been entwined with are soulmates or and, and twins. You know, stop. You know, you got to let them come in one at a time so you can concentrate on this. You know, if you're getting all pretty and going to the bar at happy hour, don't do it for attention. Do it because you enjoy having that drink at that time. You, you know, I don't want to say need it because then that brings out the, the ego kind of thing. But that's what you enjoy at that time. But, you, you know, you're going there to seek attention. You can't do that. Yeah, you're you're not taking your leap of faith yet to the future, but that's good. You're dealing with these emotions. You're releasing everybody. Then you're going to move in. And then when you start moving forward, you know, you have the emperor coming. And this is fast truths coming into you. More truths. <sighs> so. Then you're going to start to see that they're trying to, you know, that wine and dine you. You'll start to see them abusing their magic wand energy. See? You'll start to see that. And then that's the magic. All right. I think I said enough. Closing oracles, please. For Aries. That's the world. Treasure your loved one. It's important to love others deeply. That's what that is. That the, the dew comes down and it illuminated you. And you're just like this firefly in the darkness. Miracles and blessing. Everything has its gifts. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. There's the rainbow I was talking about. Appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Take a chance on love. When we love, our lives are changed forever. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. That moon again. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Aries, please. Helping others. It's like getting involved in your community. Go volunteer somewhere and then people start talking about needing part-time work. Stop touching your necklace. You're just putting grime and dirt into it. And sucking the energy out of it. Creative seed. Yeah, planting new seeds. Trying to be creative. Be creative of who you are. You don't have to tell people you're a reader. Don't tell them anything. But yeah, a lot of people don't like that. You have to keep that a secret. One with everything, as above, so below. Think about what your higher self is doing. Meditate on what your higher self is doing up there right now. Future potentials. Creating synchronicity. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.